The first time we're getting a look at what two potential ballpark districts could look like for the future home of the Royals. The first option is in the East Village near 12th and Cherry, the second in North Kansas City at 19th and Thayet. Each district would offer something different, but both are expected to bring money and jobs. KMBC 9's Jackson Kurtz is live from Kauffman Stadium tonight with the impact or that these ballpark districts would have. Jackson, tell us more. Yeah, well, Bria, both of these uh, districts are pretty to look at. The Royals front office says that this district would be a vibrant year round place for everyone in the community. And the total impact, economic impact, would be $2.8 billion. It's now down to two the East Village in downtown or across the river in North Kansas City. Been a great home. Um, but it's time for a new one. A new home for the Royals that the front office says will bring in millions to the city. This will be good for Kansas City no matter where we land. Uh, we'll see to that and you can hold us to it. Still some say it's taxpayers in Clay County or Jackson County who should have the final say. There are unseen cost decisions like this and so whether it's a new tax for Clay County or the renewal of an old tax for Jackson County, um, there is an, uh, an unseen uh, part of this conversation uh, that I think taxpayers need to take into account. The Royals say the new district will create 20,000 new jobs over its construction, 68 million in increased spending from visitors traveling to the games once it's built, and bring in 170 million in annual retail and hotel revenue. I believe that they believe their numbers, but you know the problem with using other people's money is that sometimes uh, when the bill comes due, it's not the people making the promises that have to pay it. The Royals say no matter where they play baseball, they hope it helps the community grow. Why not put forth our best effort to show Kansas City in the best possible light? Now, the Royals didn't say which site would bring in more money to the city, but rather they would bring in the same amount for each site. Live in Kansas City, Jackson Kurtz, KMEC 9 News. Jackson, thank you. The Royals plan to make their decision next month. The goal is for the team to play in their new stadium by opening day 2028.